Hey everyone and welcome to the club and welcome to another weekend art challenge. Today I'll be fusing Bendy with the Black Panther. So I'm going to get started at the top of my page with Black Panther's eyes. So I'm going to get started on the left side with an angled line. Starting from the outside, we're just going to draw a straight angled line coming down and then in. I'm going to leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right side. So let's line up the inside, go up and then out. Now from the top corner of the eye, I just want to draw two short angled lines coming down and then in. Start on the left, we'll just come down to right about there. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to connect the outside to the inside with a slight curve, coming down and then back up. Now I'm going to step down and draw on Bendy's large mouth. So we're going to start with a curve from left to right, coming down in the middle. I'm going to round out the corners of the mouth and then come down towards the center of the mouth at the bottom. So start by going out and then just pulling that in. Do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm just going to connect those two points with a curve at the bottom of the mouth. Now instead of adding the straight vertical lines for the teeth, I'm going to add some fangs. So we start in the center at the very top, we're going to angle down and out towards the left. Go back to the top, come down and out towards the right. Now we're going to repeat the zigzag pattern all the way to the side of the mouth. Starting from the bottom, we'll go up. And then we'll come back down in an angle. And we'll draw one more point going to the top. And then down towards the side. Now I'm going to move up and draw on a curve for the top of the head. So directly above the left eye, we're going to curve up in the middle and then back down on the right. From here I want to do two short angled lines going up and out for the ears. Now I'm going to have to connect these two points with a curve going all the way down towards the chin and then back up towards the right side. So let's start on the top of the left ear, curve around the eye. I'm just going to bring this down just below the mouth in the center. Now I'm going to work my way back up on the right. I'm going to go back to the top of the ear and just draw on the inner edge of the ear. Starting from the top, I'm going to draw a straight line coming down. On the right, we'll do the same thing to the same height. Now I'm just going to curve towards the side of the head, going down and then out. Now we're going to add in some of Black Panther's facial detail. So on the inside corner of the eye, I'm going to start on the left side and draw a straight line going up, go to the right side and do the same thing. Now we're going to angle it out towards the side. Now I'm going to come straight up towards the top of the head. Now I'm just going to go to the outside and just follow this all the way back down towards the eye. So on the left side I'm going to step out and just leave an even space gap all the way around. Right towards the top of the eye and we'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's move in and draw the same thing. So we step in, just gonna follow that same line coming down. We're gonna leave that same even space gap along this angle line coming in. And then we'll come down to the same height as we have on the inside edge of the eye. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now from the bottom, I just wanna draw a short angled line going up and in. Now we're gonna follow this back up towards the top of the head. Now from the top of the head, we're gonna draw two long lines coming down towards center point. So let's start in the middle here in the forehead, draw on a point. I'm gonna angle up and out towards the left. Go back to the bottom, we'll go up and out towards the right. Now we're going to draw some stripes along the side of the head. So from the left eye, we're going to step over to the side of the head here, draw an angled line coming in towards the mouth. We're going to leave a little gap on the inside. Do the same thing on the right. So let's line this up, come down.
Come down with an angle towards the mouth. Now we're gonna curve around the mouth towards the bottom of the head. Starting on the left, down towards the chin. Now we're gonna duplicate those lines on the outside. So we're gonna step down, we're just gonna follow that on the outside. Okay, so now that I've got the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm gonna start with the large collar first. So on the left side, I'm gonna draw a curve, going down in the middle, and then tucking that back up on the right side. In the center, we're gonna add that first spike of the necklace. So we're gonna step over towards the left, angle down and in towards the center. Then we're gonna go back up on the right side. We're gonna add two more spikes on either side. So on the left, we're gonna step out. We're gonna angle this one coming down. Out towards the left, and then back up. We'll add that same thing on the right angles in the opposite direction. Let's add one more spike on the outside. Now we're gonna angle this even further out. So stepping over, and we'll tuck that in behind the collar. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna add the bottom edge of the necklace in behind these spikes. So let's start on the left side of the center spike. We're gonna follow that curve going in behind here in between, and then up underneath the head. Let's go back to the center on the right side, curve in behind the second spike, third spike, and then up underneath the head. Now we're gonna tuck the body in underneath the necklace. So we're gonna start on the inside corner of the last spike, the curve out, and I'm just gonna pull that into right about there. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. Curving out, and then pulling that into the same height. I'll leave a little gap here and then finish off the lower part of the body. So from left to right, we're just gonna draw a short curve. Let's add a little bit of detail to the body. So below the bottom point of the spike, we're gonna step down, draw on this point. We're gonna angle up and out towards the left, and then up and out towards the right. Now we're gonna angle down and out towards the side of the body. Now it's gonna follow these lines just below it. Stepping down, go up in the middle, down, and then towards the right. Now let's add in the legs. From this point in the lower torso, I'm gonna to step in slightly to create an overlap. We're gonna curve out and then down towards the ankle. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping in, curve out, and then down towards the ankle. Now from the outside, we're gonna follow that same curve coming down to the same height. From this point in the hip, we're gonna curve out and then down. I'm gonna overlap the ankle with a curve from left to right, going up in the middle, and then down for the cuff of the boot. Do the same thing on the right side. Now from the left side here, I'm just gonna round out towards the heel, coming in and then down. Let's round out the bottom of the heel, curving down and then back up. Now we're gonna draw a longer curve going towards the toe, coming down and then back up. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're gonna round out the heel, now we're gonna curve down and then back up. Now we draw a longer curve towards the toe. Now from the outside of the cuff, I'm gonna draw two short lines, one coming down on the left and then one on the right. Now from the toe, I wanna to curve the top of the foot coming in towards the ankle. So we go up and then down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up and then down. I'm gonna trace these two curves just above for the sole. on the right side. And then at the top of the foot, I'm gonna add two small ovals. One on the left, and then one on the right. Let's add some stripes along the legs. So at the bottom here, just above this cuff, we're gonna step up, we're gonna draw one curve, step up again, draw another curve. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now up in the thigh area, we're gonna add another stripe. On the outside, we're gonna curve in, step up, and draw that same curve. I wanna add one more stripe just in the center here. So from this point, I'm gonna step down, draw a point. From this point, I'm gonna angle up and out underneath this line. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna repeat that just below it. So stepping down, angle down towards the middle, and then 
back up on the right. Now let's move up and draw in the arms. So I'm gonna bend the arms coming down into claws. So we start right on the outside of this spike, curve out, and I'm just gonna pull that down. We'll do the same thing on the right side. I'm gonna curve up and out, and we'll hook that down towards the wrist. Now I'm gonna follow that same curve on the outside. So let's just go up underneath the head here, curve out, and then down. I'm gonna taper the arm so it gets a little bit wider towards the wrist. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. Curving out, and go a little bit wider towards the wrist. Now I'm gonna overlap these two lines with a curve going from left to right and up in the middle. Do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm gonna round out the edge of the cuff. Almost like drawing a bracket. And then in between, I'm just gonna draw a short curve just for the edge of the cuff. Let's go back to the left side and draw on this hand. So I'm gonna start from the bottom of the cuff, curve in, and then back out towards the tip of the thumb claw. From here, I'm just gonna taper it back up in towards the hand. Now I'm gonna curve in the opposite direction towards the first finger, curving out and then down. I'm gonna hook that back up, so tapering it back up. We'll draw another finger, curving out and then down. Now we're gonna pull that up again. Go up and out. Now I'm just gonna layer the third finger in behind the second finger. So about halfway down, we're gonna curve out and pull that in towards the cuff. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving in and then out towards the tip of the thumb. I'm gonna taper that back up. Now we're gonna curve in the opposite direction, curving out and then in, tapering back that finger to right about there. Draw second finger, curving down and in. We'll taper that back up. Now halfway down this finger, we're gonna layer the third finger around then in behind the cuff. On the back of the hand, I'm gonna add two angled ovals. Let's start just above this finger. Draw one oval. We'll step over and draw a second one. We're gonna fill these in black. Now we're gonna do the opposite on the right side. So above this finger here, an angle the oval out. Move over, draw that second oval, and fill those in black. Now I'm gonna add some detail to the fingers. We're gonna separate out the claw first. So from left to right, I'm gonna curve down and up. We'll do the same thing on the first finger and then the second finger. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now from the claw, I'm gonna step up and add a band just across the thumb, going in the opposite direction, going up and then over. We're gonna repeat that just above it to create a band. Now we're gonna do the same thing to these two fingers. Do the same thing on the right, so cross the thumb first. Now we're just going to add some simple bands across the arm. Starting just above the cuff, we're going to step up, draw a curve, we're going to do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to add one in the elbow area. So starting on the outside, we're going to curve in and then down. Step up, do that same thing, do the same thing on the right side. Now let's add one more band just on the upper arm here. Curving down and in. Same thing on the right. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's our fusion between Bendy and the Black Panther. I hope you enjoyed this week's art challenge. Make sure you subscribe and send me your challenge ideas in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.